Welcome to Yellowstone in the winter. This is actually day two of our fun little trip. Yesterday we did the Old Faithful tour, which is a bigger bus and more people and harder to talk to you. It is freezing cold. We have done this trip once before. It was our favorite winter trip. So we decided to do it again and we're riding around in that <laughs> thing. So today we're doing this for two days. Uh, Old Faithful today, the canyon tomorrow. What do you feel like? Um, yeah. It's really cold, but not as cold as it could be. We've heard it was colder a couple weeks ago. Yeah, he, like <laughs> he said it was negative, negative 34. Yeah. Negative Oof. 34 just a few weeks ago. So I feel like at like yeah. four degrees, we're pretty lucky. We're pretty darn lucky. <laughs> so we're just gonna get back in that warm vehicular unit. Walking along the boardwalk of Biscuit Basin. Hillary's behind me. Oh. <laughs> it's just ice. <laughs> She's carrying the big lens. Some bison hanging out there. After a lap on the boardwalk, I've been told I'm starting to look like Santa Claus. Maybe just a, a few more and I'll walk out of here with a fully white beard. And the reason we are here, Old Faithful. They've closed down all of the indoor eating. So we have our sack lunches out here in the snow. It should be going off in the next 10 minutes or so. It's crazy to see that here in the dead of winter, there are just as many people waiting for it as I would see in summer. I think when we came two years ago, there were far less people. Far, far less. We were the only ones, remember? That yeah, we were the only ones, it's true. But now it's a lot more crowded. The thing about Old Faithful in the winter is there's so much steam, it's hard to see that it's actually erupting. But it is, it's going, it's going now. There you go. Man, it is cold. It's hard to hold onto this tripod. We're gonna try and hike across the parking lot and find hot chocolate or something. Yeah, it's cold. So today we're doing the Canyon Winter Tour and our first stop along the way, Gibbon Falls. And really the whole goal today is just get cool content. See some wildlife, see some nature, like that, and hang out with her. Because <laughs> we're on break. So we've stopped in the Hayden Valley. Last time we were here, this is where I got the best wildlife shots of my life. And it's kind of just, it's kind of bland today. So we've got Hillary out here with her binoculars trying to find some wildlife for us. Even though it's been a bust on wildlife, you can always trust There'll be thermal features and other fun things. So we're at Dragon Mouth Spring, and this does sound like there's a dragon in the lair. It's pretty cool. We're just getting out of the Hayden Valley and to the artist point here in the canyon, the yeah, Grand the, Canyon of Yellowstone. The Lower Falls. So we're hiking along here. <laughs> it's beautiful. I was thinking as we were driving along, like 
the frosted trees, they kind of remind me of like the frosted fur of a bison. <laughs> so it's like bison on a different scale. That's so funny. I know, I felt poetic when I thought of that. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I have exactly the wrong lens to get you close to the falls, but to check out the view, it's perfect. Justin Dean McBride here, and we're walking down this little pathway. We make videos. We hope you like this one. <laughs> I think this is our last stop of the day, the Norris Geyser Basin. Well, they've got a cool, like, winter wonderland shot there. Uh, we did not do this last time we were here, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And I think we just had a... I'm just going to keep going. This is cool. Winter visitors, caution, steps and trails may be slippery. Ooh. Seems worth it. This is like straight up icy <gasps> steps. <laughs> <sighs> I hope we're doing the right, like our guide isn't here with us, oh good. Everybody else came this way. We must be doing it right. I can almost just slide down it. So I think that's it. I think that's our last stop. Now it's back to the bus, the uh, snow coach, and then back to west. This has been fun. I know it's felt like we've just teleported around the park, but it's kind of because we did. We would get in and kind of nap a little bit and wake up somewhere new. So you got the true blue experience. Oh, hiking out of Norris Geyser Basin, I'm sweating now. Oh, and it just got way brighter. So uh, I think that does it for me. If you like the video, please like the video. If you have a question, leave me a comment. And if you want to hang out again, well, make sure to subscribe. Until next time, I'm Justin B. McBride.